Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Lori Marie, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had fun on my table. I grabbed five minutes here and five minutes there. So um, thanks for allowing me to drag you along on the journeys. Um, today I am showing you a background technique. Now I took it further and put silhouette focal points on it, but that is not necessary. Uh, the tutorial is more about the background, which was very fun to build with underpants and gelatos and splatters and stencil. And then I put my focals on it and some stabilo, of course. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, I guess there's a little bell that you can uh, click on and then you'll get notifications when there are new videos. Um, my intention is to get a video to you on Monday and Thursday. So far, we've <laughs> done very well with that. I have lots of ideas, just not a lot of time. So thank you so much for joining me. Leave a comment if you can. That would be great. I do try to respond to the comments. All right, yada, yada, yada. See you on the table. So here's our project for today. This is a piece that's in my morning morning book. I have several pieces that are in this book. And uh, what I'm showing you, the technique is just for the background. Uh, you certainly don't have to use silhouettes, although I found this very, very fun. Uh, so do what you need to do, but I am bringing this forward for you to learn a background technique. And it's with layers of underpants and gelatos and uh, white acrylic paint for the background splatters and some noise with a fun stencil. So there you have it. Okay, good morning. My dad's up. Breakfast has started. This is dry. Now what I did is I put on several different layers of underpants. Um, the music sheet got no underpants at all and several of the places got three layers of underpants. I'm going to bring in my gelatos. Play with those a little bit. And what I'm going to do is find some seams and I'm going to add some gelato to some edges. This was the it's uh, fiber paste and it is really nice and rough. So I use the purple, I'm going to bring in the blue Hit some more seams. Okay. 
bring in the yellow. bring the purple back in and go around the edges. And just go back in and add some color wherever you want. And just smooch it around really well. I stick to three colors. I'm going to spray the entire page with water and then I'm going to stand the book up and see if I can get this to drip at all. I don't know. Looks like it might move. I'm going to stand it up. Oh yeah, gorgeous. Gonna bring my sandpaper in and rough it back up. And I'm gonna continue to build the background on the page. I have white acrylic paint. I'm just gonna dilute that down with some water. And I'm gonna add some splatters to the page. I'm going to blot up the splatters with a paper towel. So they're more of a hint. Beautiful. Bring in some of the Van Dyke brown hue. And I'm just going to dot some of the paint onto that stencil. Still building that background. <laughs> That's gorgeous. This is one of Tim Holtz paper dolls. I increased it on my printer to 175%, so he's quite a bit bigger than the original. I'm going to glue him onto a thin piece of cardboard and I'm going to be making a stencil of him. You can probably just use the paper, but I need a little firmer edge. <laughs> to trace. So I'm just going to glue him on to this thin cardboard and cut him out. Then I'll be able to use this stencil over and over and over again. Alright, so I have the cardboard image. I'm going to put it here and I'm going to trace around it with a pencil. this guy going this way. Then I'm going to put this guy in the middle between those two hands. Okay. 
I'm going to take the stencil up high and bring it between those three boys. in the white gesso and I'm going to paint the two upper ones, the two upper boys. Alright, I have both of the upper images painted white and I have to go fix dinner. Okay, the guys are eating. I'm going to bring black gesso in and paint the lower images with the black gesso. Alright, I have one silhouette done in black and I'll paint the other two silhouettes. My household is awake. I have started breakfast, but I'm grabbing a moment to play. And I'm just going to stabilo around my little angel boys. And I'm going to stick a little around the edge of the page. I'm going to bring in the one step crackle. And one step crackle means one step crackle. I got the wrong stuff for the. Um, for the workshop in New Zealand and it was not a one step and it did not crackle. It did make it shiny but didn't make it crackle. Got too much on that wing. So I'm just going to fill in the four wings with the one step crackle and let that dry. Alright, the wings are dried and crackly. I'm going to take just a little bit of white acrylic and rub it onto those wings to show off the cracks. Bring back in the stabilo redefine those wings. And we're going to call it done. Now this piece I have uh, shown you basically so you can use that background for anything that you want. This is part of my morning morning book. So it is about my boys. Uh, I have had five boys. I've lost two. I have three amazing sons um, that are on this earth with me. So enjoy the background, do whatever you want as your focal area, and go create, go play, go have fun. Handsome puppy.